everyone. I'm Natasha Lane from the Netherlands, and we're here with Jennifer from Dust in Minds. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. Thank you for inviting me here. <laughs> for being here. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Yes, yes. It's uh, it looks like it's spring here. I'm living in in Strasbourg in the east of France, and uh, there is a lot of sun. The sky is blue. It feels so so good. I, I don't know for you, but the the good weather it's automatically very. I, I really feel it really really fast. I mean, it's such a, you feel a, such a good mood directly with the, with the weather like this. So I hope you have the same in Holland. Yes, we have song here too. Yeah, yeah, it really brings up uh, the mood. Yes, exactly. And and where do you come from in Holland? I live close to Amsterdam. Oh, okay, good, great. Yeah. Okay, awesome. are you ready for my questions? Yes, absolutely. Okay. How is it going with the recording of the new album? Are all the songs already finished or are you still working on some? Uh, that's a very good question because uh, um, no, we didn't finish the album yet. And uh, actually after this interview, I will just warm up and I will go to the studio to record a new song. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so yeah. Now it's not finished. We are a bit um, more than a half of the of the album, uh, but yeah, just just a few songs left. And uh, but uh, but yeah, we 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 are feeling that we are approaching to to the end of the album. And um, actually, now there is some. Uh, uh, songs that are written also by by Damien, uh, the, the guitar player of the band, and the song that we will uh, record the vocals uh, this afternoon. It's uh, it's a song that he wrote the lyrics, so I'm very excited about it. Okay, awesome! And you have this new single coming up called "Lost Control" on the night of April. Tell me all about it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I am you have no idea how I am excited about this music video and about this song. I mean, mm. you know, as a musician, you are always uh, you always think, okay, I, I did this, but the next one will be better. And all the time new things are always better than than the previous one. But uh, but for this one we 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 made a music video um that hon honestly I, I didn't I never seen this in metal music, and we decided to to break the rules. I mean, you know, in this music video, and uh, we we play metal, but we wanted to do something, yeah, just just not a cliche thing. And so we decided to to do something crazy, and uh, and you will let me know when you will see the the music video. But uh, yeah, I'm very very excited. Okay, I'm really curious about the results. <laughs> soon, yeah. soon. <laughs> yeah, soon, very soon. <laughs> Dust in Mind worked with a stage coach. Can you tell me about that experience and what was for you the most important thing that you learned? Wow, this is something I, I could recommend to every, and not every band, every, just creative people artists or just something who likes art and you need sometimes help to to release it and uh and you know for our movements on stage and and everything we we worked a lot already by ourselves and um in a rehearsal you know we always do the rehearsal like we are on stage because we want to to yet yeah, to have um how to say a, a solid base and this way on stage you can have some space for the for improvisation and the, and the real feeling and you're not lost you know about oh, what i have to do or something but uh we thought that yes it's very important also to have um another point of, point of view you know and um and not especially someone also from the metal scene you know the, this coach is just a, it's a very famous in france but also you know for uh you know um 
commercial music in France, you know, not only metal. And, and this was very important, you know, just not to stay in our, uh, you know, uh, how to say, uh, our, you know, our, our habits and our, you know, the, the, all the, the metal cliche, we just wanted to do something different. And this guy, wow, yes, he, he just saw our, our sets and he said, yeah, it's awesome, but we can do this better and better. And he gives us uh, keys that we can use for the rest of our lives. And we also had some, how to say, kind of workshop or exercises to, we, in the band, we are very, very close to each other. But he managed to even create a, a special connection, you know. We, yeah, we had to say to each other so many personal things we had to, to do, you know, just some eye contact between each other, but just to, to force ourselves to, to really deliver to each other who we are, you know, re really deeply. And, uh, and this... This um, work with this coach was very, very helpful, and uh, I, I, I really recommend it to everyone to do it because uh, I think that um, we and the, the, the people, uh, the crowd, will feel the difference. I think before and and after this very good experience. Nice. Yeah, sounds like a very good experience. It was definitely. <laughs> yeah. And you had to give all the songs of the set list a keyword. I was wondering what some of these keywords were for the songs. Oh, sometimes uh, I, I remember, for example, there is one keyword. Yeah, th that was exactly something very important that the, the coach said, yes, uh, when you are on stage, just think about one word for each song. And so we, I had to explain the lyrics uh, and and so with the guys, we were, okay, what is the, the feeling of this song? What we want to share as emotion and not just me as a singer, but also the guys. And yeah, that was very important for all of us to, to share exactly the same emotion to, to the crowd. And, um, and for example, there is, there is a, a song, uh, the, the, the keyword, you know, so on the set list, we wrote like a, a um, hold on me, you know, hold on to me, don't, don't let me go and something like that. And so when, when you are on stage, you, you, you really watch people in the eye and, and you say with your eye, don't let me go, don't let me go. And, and I think this is very important to stick to one keyword because mm -hmm. it's, it's easy, you know, to remember and just, and to, to share. And, uh, but there was also, you know, um, uh, other words more, I would say, aggressive, but uh, but it's it's re it's really helpful because on stage you you need to feel something very strong, and you, you there is no half measures when you are on stage, so you you really need intense feelings to to share it to to people. Beautiful. For your music videos, you shot at special places everywhere, deserts. A place where a lot of waste was dumped illegally, edge of a cliff, abandoned hospital, a swimming pool, a graveyard of old boats. What's next? Any more shooting locations you really want to shoot at also in the future? Oh, definitely. Um, there is, thank you first. <laughs> and uh, and uh, then, um, so uh, our next music video, so the one you you will you will see very soon is um is totally different it's not outside uh like we are quite used to used to do um but in the future there is one place we would like and love to to shoot a music video and it's uh iceland okay so, yeah. uh, that, that's maybe in our plans but we are thinking about it for uh, for years now, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is a, this is a place we, we really love. Yeah, Iceland is very beautiful. I've been there like three times or something. Yeah. You've been there? Yes. Oh, awesome. Great. Yeah, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I guess that. I've never been there and uh, yeah, it looks like 
like the moon, I would say, you know, the, the landscape there and totally crazy. And, and uh, it's not so far from here, I would say. So uh, I think, yeah, you're lucky that you've been there. <laughs> yeah, well, you will be there too in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I saw you did a cover of the band Textures of my country, the Netherlands. That was really surprising. How did you came up with the idea to cover one of Texture's songs? So actually, uh, there is this um, festival called the Euroblast uh, in Germany. It's a festival. I go there, you know, just a tourist, I would say, uh, every year for years and years with my bass player, with Xavier, because we love progressive music. And, um, and so the Euroblast, yes, that did a... Uh, online festival and uh, they asked us, hey guys, do you want to, to perform something? And we said, yes, of course, but you know, just in mind, it's not very progressive or gent music. So maybe the crowd um, will not uh, be, uh, it's not that they will not like it, but we wanted to do something very specific for the Euroblast. And so we thought, okay, we will pick up uh, one of our progressive bands and uh, and Xavier is also a huge, huge fan of textures and me too. And uh, we decided to to honor the band and to to do this this cover. And uh, and yeah, yeah, I, I think it was uh, also maybe weird for our fans, you know, because they are not used to hear us uh, playing this kind of music. But uh, but really, we really, really love this band. Uh, we are so sad that they. They stopped their career, but they are so, so talented. And I think they had a huge influence in the progressive metal scene. Okay, awesome. You make some of the merch yourself and are selling some original merch like water bottles, Polaroids, and even biscuits for Christmas made by you guys back in the days. Are there some new merch items coming up and where can people find the merchandise? Um, so we have uh, our own uh, shop on our big cartel. And yes, we, we try to, to stay out, how to say, uh, innovative, you know, in our ideas and uh, to propose content that, uh, yeah, just original, I mean, um, and exactly, yeah, the, the, the bottles, the, the reuse bottles, etc. I, I did it myself. I have uh, all the equipment in, at the studio to produce our merchandise. So, except the, the t-shirts, uh, I think that everything else, I do it by myself. And, um, and uh, also we have with our label, we have a, a small shop also there and so I do, I do mugs, you know, just mugs and, and original stuff also there. But uh, for the future, I don't know, we don't have um, any more ideas yet. I say yet because all the time that we have a talk with the guys, we come up with, hey, we should do this and we should do this. <laughs> so uh, I don't know so far, but um, definitely a new hoodie. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I think uh, now we are. We have a lot already in our, and we we also have a lot of personalized item. You know, like I do the yeah the, the handwritten lyrics and the the, the Polaroid that I I sign and uh, that I send uh, randomly. You know, so uh, I think it's very important for for people also to have something yeah very personalized. Uh, it it's just a big change compared to a. A t-shirt, of course, it's great, but everyone can have a t-shirt. But this personalized item, mm -hmm. I, I really, I realize that people like it a lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will definitely continue in this direction. All right, cool. You make some of your merch yourself and also your stage outfits and some merch yes. for other bands. So what about a clothing line in the future? <laughs> this is... This is very, yeah, it's funny because um, I am totally uh, starting this right now. Oh, and, really? Uh, oh, nice. Yes. 
because yeah I, I would like to to propose to people yeah uh close the like the outfit i have on stage etc and uh, i had uh, some requests already so i thought okay now i think uh, with the COVID, etc., since we cannot go on tour, I have the time to do it, and uh, and so I am starting to customizing some clothes, and uh, I am currently um, working on the um, on the name of the of the company I want to find. So uh, yes, I am. I also create some uh, jewelry, jewelry, so earrings, etc. So. Uh, I would like to combine everything in one shop, and uh, and in a few months I will open uh, officially the the clothing line. Oh, that's fast! Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, very curious. Okay, you did a live stream concert called Live at the Opera. Any plans for another online live concert? Absolutely. Um, we will uh, announce it maybe in one month. We will announce something. Ah, I think not only more, but uh, yes, I, it's uh, something yeah totally different uh, than the life at the opera, but also in a in a beautiful place. It will not be in a in a regular venue. It's also uh, something very beautiful. But uh, yeah, in one month we will announce something. Okay, cool. A lot of new things coming up, huh? Yeah, I realize that every question that you ask, I, <laughs> I have an answer that fits totally with what's going on right now. So <laughs> that is good. Most in mind has a Patreon. For people who don't know what that is, Patreon is like a fan club community where when you become a member, you get exclusive content, behind the scenes, live streams from the band, and so on. Can you tell us more about your Patreon? Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Our Patreon, we, we started it um, last year. So yeah, with the COVID, etc., cetera, we, we thought that, okay, um, maybe we could do this right now. And um, so people asked, can we support you in a way? And we said, uh, of course, we need support like every artist right now. And uh, and we had time to 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 share special and exclusive content. And at that moment, we were planning to go uh, on a shooting of two music video for one week. And so we thought, OK, uh, we are on the road for one week. We have the time, not really have the time, but we can share. We have a lot of content uh, to share right now. So we should start it. And um, and so, yeah, we we I think it's it's great in my opinion in in the band we we th we are thinking that yeah it's it was a very good decision to start this because you grow uh, a connection a, a special link with your fans because yeah we do a live stream uh we are chatting every day all together and uh yeah, and even between the fans, it's it's becoming you know everyone is becoming closer, and uh, and we try to of course to to share a lot of exclusive things and to to keep uh, a very good relations with our fan. I, I think it's it's very important to to have this, and uh, I mean I mean me as a fan, I I would be so happy also to have this opportunity with the artist that I like. So, uh, yeah, for, I think it's a very good, uh, alternative right now. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, for, for the artists nowadays, it's a very good solution. And for, I mean, for the support, but, uh, also to, cr to really create a deep connection with the fans. Yes. And now you have uh, more time to do that because of the pandemic, of course. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I recommend it to to every band to do it because uh, the, there is always fans who want to know more about what you post on Facebook or, or Instagram. Of course, we we try to post regularly content, but uh, yeah, in on Patreon you can you know be more uh, not not yourself, but more funny sometimes you know, and uh, I think that the fans that's what they want to see also. 
Yes. And what is your favorite song of Dust in Mind of all time? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Uh, my favorite song. I think it's not. It's not even uh, one of our biggest hits. I think this song is called uh, I Will Never Forget. And this is the song that, that gives me, pff, there is a lot of electro samples. And so um, I, I like, you know, this mix between metal and electro and uh, electronic music. And uh, yeah, I, I think this one is one of my favorites. And uh, of course, this is the end is our biggest hit and I like to perform it uh, mostly because um, this is the, the people, peop the song that people know the most. So when you are on stage, this is the song when you have the more reactions from the, from the people. And of course, you are on stage to have this connection with, with the fans. And uh, when you see that, Oh yeah, this is this is the end. Yeah, we, we we I know this one, and and you see that in your in their eyes. Okay, this is uh, this is the one, and uh, that's that's I think uh, one of the reasons why I play music is to have this connection. And so when I play this song on stage, of course there is this special feeling. So uh, yeah, of course this is the end. Okay, nice. You have been on the road a lot as working as a merch girl, driver for bands, and of course for Dust in Minds. Which country was the most memorable for you? Um, right now, uh, right now, memorable, I would say uh, from our first tour with the band in 2017, uh, I mean, big tour. Uh, we were, we went uh, with the band uh, Pain, and yeah. we were in the eastern countries, and uh, we went in Belarus, and uh, so it was really a crazy tour because there was the the borders at all the countries, and every night we have to wake up, go outside with the papers and, you know, and just uh, sleepy, but uh, okay, with your pyjama and uh, okay, this is my paper, my passport. And it was very tiring, but it, but Belarus was totally crazy. But I mean, because of the, the fans there were so in demand because there is not a lot of concerts there. Uh, almost no metal there, and so uh, yeah, I never, I never felt that uh, before, and even after that, that was just a crazy experience to 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 feel that people were eager, you know, hungry for for music, and uh, yeah, that that was totally totally crazy. But um, I also have. Very good memories. I mean, since I'm a teenager, I was dream dreaming about uh, going in Finland. So the first time I've been in Finland was also something crazy for me, you know. So I I'm I'm very curious about every country. I mean, uh, I'm an, I'm I'm the kind of of people when I'm in a tour bus, I I like to go uh, downstairs and to watch the the landscape of every country. I always have my Google map on my phone, okay, where are we now? And I'm very curious about the geographic and everything about countries I'm going to. I think, uh, I think touring is a great opportunity when you want to see uh, other countries, uh, although you don't really usually have the time to visit. But if I have just a few minutes to see something, I, I, I run there, that definitely. <laughs> and what do you think of the Netherlands, my country? Netherlands, I, I wanted to say this is, uh, I love, I love, I, I've been in three different cities, I think, uh, Rotterdam, Amsterdam, um, uh, where, where is the Dynamo? Eindhoven. Ah, yeah, in Eindhoven. Ah, so there is another one. Ah, now I don't remember. But I think that Netherlands have the best venues in the world, <laughs> definitely. Because I don't know, it, but from the, the underground clubs or for the big clubs or even arenas I've been with Ben, 
I think everything is always made for music. I mean, um, it's a. Uh, it's it's quite rare that there is a stairs, you know, for example, when you have the equipment or stuff like that. Uh, all the time, the promoters in Netherlands are, in my opinion, the best. They are always helpful, uh, always. I, that's that's what we say also with the guys. And um, and I also feel it when I'm, I go on tour with bands. This is something that we we are saying a lot is that um, that the venues and in Netherlands and uh, the crowd in Netherlands and uh, yeah, it's it's always always pleasant. I never never had uh, a bad situation or anything in Netherlands. Always always great. I I love I love going there. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've seen <laughs> you in Rotterdam with uh, Infected Rain. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, I I think actually it was. It was uh, yeah our first time in in Rot in uh, Holland. Yeah yeah. I and mean, now that that you are saying to me, I think I remember you now. Yeah, I think I remember you. Yes yes. <laughs> yeah okay yes. <laughs> and we'll be there also when you play here with uh, Evergreen. Oh still- good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There was a, a lag, but uh, oh, I, I, I had everything. Awesome. Yes, with, with Evergreen. Yeah, yeah, of course. That would be a pleasure to meet you there. Yeah. Absolutely. After the show, perhaps. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. Just, just uh, let me know again, and we will meet, meet there. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, the last question. Your lyrics are mostly about the environment and human emotions. Are those the kind of themes we can expect in the new album also? Um, I think we are quite still in the same direction. Um, I mean, yeah, still, uh, again, emotional feelings. Uh, I mean, the, the theme of the album will be uh, more about this internal war that we can feel um uh you know sometimes uh being uh, blessed about um about feeling a lot and also sometimes the suffering about feeling too much also and i think this is the general theme of the album but uh but yes definitely there is there will be uh always some songs about the environment i think it's um as an artist, I think it's your, how to say, your purpose or your duty, I would even say, to, to spread a message. And all, of course, it's, uh, it's uh, important to, to share my emotions, etc. But uh, if no one can, can picture himself in the lyrics, this is even not interesting for me. Also, I, I want to to share things that people can can feel it like, hey, I, I feel the same, and uh, and this is why we we are doing music. And about cause, like environment, I think this is, uh, I think every people, everyone that is uh, even just a little bit mediatized or you know that publish content, etc. I think everyone should try to spare to share. Um, yeah, help some cause, some cause, or to to help to I would say to share. Um, uh, how to say? How can, could I say? I mean, nowadays and especially with social media, etc. I can understand that sometimes it's not easy to take position on something, you know, because sometimes when you take position on on a subject. Um, you know, people don't like, you know, of course you have some people will be for or some people will be against and sometimes people just want you to, to play music and, but, but not, you know, not sharing a real, real purpose, you know, and, uh, and I think that, ah, this is, this is, uh, something that we artists and people who are meditized, we shouldn't uh go there because we we don't uh, spread an empty voice you know we we want to to share something that that matters and that can help and uh, i think that 
yeah, everyone should just uh, share what they feel for real, and we shouldn't be scared about um, uh, hurting people in their own feelings. You know, uh, uh, I, I actually I prefer to to have just a little bit less of people supporting me uh, because, uh, but I but I can share what I what I really want and. Uh, uh, that's I think yeah that nowadays there's a lot of artists who don't dare to do it and I really regret it because uh I mean that's that's the why we are doing music is to to express things and in very intense so uh yeah I'm yeah. talking too much what sorry <laughs> am I talking too much <laughs> talking too much no you're not talking too much <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's beautiful because you have this platform so you can use it, you know, for good. Yeah, for the good things. To spread some Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for this interview. And thank you. Mine, can we close the interview with a nice picture for the video with our metal horns? Yes, of course. We do it yeah. right now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you so much, Jennifer, and good luck with your new album and the recording later this day. Yes, yeah. definitely. Thank you so much, Nastasia, and uh, hope to see you on our tour with Evergrey. Let's keep in touch for that. Yes, okay. okay. Good day, thank you so much. <laughs> You're okay. welcome. Thank you, Nastasia. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.